Okay, I'm going to demo the grid bow. So let's start out by creating a new ether. And I will rename this ether to grid demo. I'll click the toolbar, tap the grid bub object, and double tap on the ether to create the grid bub. Now there are um, two tabs on the bottom and the right. One allows me to add new columns, one allows me to add new rows. And so I've got this grid structure. It's like a, a spreadsheet in Excel. Um, one of the first things that's different between uh, Uvium and Excel is that allows me to actually rename these columns. So give these columns names. And then I'll enter in some numbers. Now normally at this point, I would go to this first cell here and would then say I would like this to be equal to A1 times B1. And then I'd have to copy that data round down. In Uvium, however, I'm just going to define what I want this column to be. So I click the header total, and then I'm going to click the column bub here, and I'm just going to define it. I want this to be equal to units times price. And it automatically puts that calculation throughout the entire column. If I click back in here, I can see what this is. This is equal to units times price. It doesn't say A1 times B1. Uh, if I add a row, that column automatically gets um, calculated. Now, I can also add aggregate functions. So if I edit the column, click aggregate, and I have a choice of different calculations I can do on that co column, such as sum, average, running. So I'm going to click sum in this case, and this then adds up the values of that column. Now there's a third little tab here, which put me into this editing mode. From here I can, I can delete columns and rows. I click it once to, to say, put me in the delete mode, and I click it again to actually delete it. I can also move columns and rows. So if I anchor the ether with one finger, I can then slide the columns around and I can slide the rows around. So I recently added a new running aggregate function. So let's uh, demo that real quick. So I'm going to add another grid bub. And I'll call this column amount. And this one balance. So you can kind of think of this as a, an account statement of some sort. So I'll put in some transaction numbers. And then I'll come and edit this column, and I'm going to set it equal to the amount column. But in this case, what I also want to do then is go to the aggregate and set it equal to the running. And now what this does is it gives me a running total of this amount column, which is uh, pretty handy. Now also, um, each of these cells are active from normal Uvium instance bubbles. So I can click this bubble and do calculations on it. If I make changes to the values, it automatically changes all the instance bubbles that depend upon it. Um, I can also 
combine it with normal instance bubbles. And again, as I make modifications to the numbers, all of the uh, bubbles that depend upon it will automatically be recalculated. And that concludes my demo of the grid bubble.